Hello, today I want to show you how you can easily manage, convert, view and print your Codes files. Let's see in action what CodesFun can do for you. We're now looking at a song like many have handwritten. This format is quite easy to achieve with Notepad and it alternates chords, lines which contain only chords and lines which contain text. A much better format is the Chord Pro format, which embeds the chords within the lines and separates them with square brackets. Many programs support the Chord Pro format and uh, besides the notes, uh, it also allows to define title, subtitle, which I can uh, very easily extract from the file. Once I have a Chord Pro formatted file, it's easy to print it uh, or edit it or view it uh, in a much more user-friendly way. We can see, for example, if we, if we switch to three panes, that here we're outputting the song with the bold with the chords in bold, but we can choose any style we like because it's uh, uh, all done through HTML and CSS, so it's easy for you to configure it. Here on the side we have the um, the chords that are used in in this song. On the left hand side, I can see I can browse files on my hard drives, and uh, um, what, what will happen is that uh, whenever I click a file, it will automatically be parsed and converted if necessary and then outputted um, as um, HTML. If we switch to three panes again here, we can see what happens behind the scenes. The files are uh, parsed, the chords are embedded with the um, uh, with the text. The title and subtitle are um, uh, gathered where, where whenever it's possible to do so, and the HTML is uh, prepared. Sometimes, though, it's not possible to convert uh, every single handwritten uh, code because uh, sometimes we slip in uh, mistakes or sometimes the software just can't handle some particular format. So, uh, Chords Fun allows you to edit files. In this example here, um, we have that uh, title and subtitle were not uh, uh, taken properly. While the song title is correct, uh, I would like to have John Lennon as a subtitle. I right click on it and I choose make subtitle. As you see, it's automatically changed. But when I want to add some text, uh, I can uh, of course uh, have uh, uh, hand, hand type my uh, parentheses and then uh, some text. But I can also use a shortcut, it's a backslash, and here I can just type uh, uh, a chord and it will be inserted. So after this, I uh, will try to put in another A and then uh, I will uh, uh, use my mouse to choose a C sharp minus whatever minor. Once I'm done with this, when I click preview, the, the changes will be reflected here. and I can go back to full screen. Now if I want to print the song I can use Edit in Word and uh, uh, automatically the song will be uh, opened Microsoft Word so that I can uh, uh, both edit it, print it or do whatever I want with it. There are a few options we had to introduce into Chords Fun. Hopefully it will work out of the box uh, um, for your all needs, but in case you need to change some, you can open the set settings clicking up here and you can decide whether a song will be outputted with the chords uh, in line and separated and shown with superscript or using tables so that the the chords are um, don't break the text um, 
you can choose whether you want to show the chord chords positions. You can remove empty lines, disclaimers like the uh, news boards, uh, etc. And uh, you can also scan for localized chords. Uh, this is on by default and will allow you to s also find the chords in Do, Re, Mi format. Uh, all uh, variations are, are supported. Uh, you can choose your um, templates for uh, Word, for printing, for viewing files and also the interface language which you can, uh, you can also add your own language uh, just adding a new file in the resources translation directory. Uh, the home folder, the base path, is what, what you're surfing to when you click home. It's quite useful because uh, this way you find uh, you can uh, spend less time uh, searching for information. But if you have uh, um, a, a word in mind or a band in mind, uh, you can also search the current folder or the base folder and you will al automatically find uh, uh, whatever matches there are. The recent files are listed uh, with these two buttons and here are the recent folders. A final feature uh, is tuning your guitar or instrument. You just click here and uh, uh, the notes uh, of the guitar or uh, whatever instrument you have uh, will be shown. You can also use harmonics if you uh, tune with harmonics, it's a bit more precise. So, thank you for watching this presentation. You can find more information and download link from tmg.it slash software